I saw her first and you. He used to travel with the Irish soccer team when I played, and uh, we used to have sing songs, and it was just amazing. I saw the danger and I passed along the enchanted way. community effort it's a seven night a week effort and I think that's probably why it is surviving 30 years even though obviously we'd prefer if it wasn't needed It's a very instant thing, you know, you're not going to solve homelessness on any single night of the week. It's just meeting people, giving them what they need at the time, if we have it. It's, it might be contact, it might be a, a cup of tea, it might be a sandwich, it might be a blanket. We're just not kind of pulling up to Houston Station, which is the first of our stops. There's a camera there now, so you know that you're okay. It doesn't matter, him sees me, do not even know me. I know, yeah, just to say it, you know. Okay. See you, Jimmy. We can move on. I'm from Dundrum, and I um, I work in the city centre. I'm a public relations consultant during the day. Um, I'm from Rohini, um, and I'm a primary school teacher. So uh, that's what I do during the daytime. There are 280 plus people who need assistance at the moment. Now, obviously, we wouldn't come across that number on any given night. The one thing we're always aware of is that, is that even when we go out, and you could be going out for years, we're always on the outside looking in. Hi, Packy. How are you? You know Fiona? Have you met Fiona before? I don't know if I have. How are you? Nice to meet you. We have some tea or soup? Soup, please. Soup, yeah. Right, it's veggie soup's nice, it's very oh, nice. Lovely. There's, a, there's cheese, tomato and ham in those ones, but what oh. you, you just prefer cheese on its own. Cheese on We've got some cheese back in the car. People are, are homeless, as I say, for lots of different reasons. Sometimes maybe because of family breakup or, you know, family bereavement, a huge sadness that they just couldn't cope with. Looking for cheese. This man likes cheese sandwiches, so I'm just looking for cheese for him. Lovely. And we must take a note that you like cheese and tuna. Yep. Cheese okay. And tuna. <laughs> See you soon. Okay, find yourself. The situation isn't getting any better 30 years on. It's a Celtic tiger economy now and there's more people on the homelessness than ever before. And if you're a young male, you haven't got a, a hope really if you you know, if you're on your own, if you have a family, there's some chance that you might be given a, you know, made a priority if you're a, a girl and you have young kids. Um, it makes me very angry that the system doesn't seem to care about people like this. And they become invisible. People don't want to be out on the street begging. From passing by people and wondering, you know, what their story was, people on the street wondering why they might have been homeless. I suppose I, I just got sick of walking by. I knew that Simon, Dublin Simon existed and I decided to go to one of their meetings. May as well, we can pull up and talk to Al. This guy's a bit of a character um, and he's well known to people on the street and he seems to get on very well with people. Al, uh, hallelujah. Great. <laughs> how you doing Al? Hello. I'm back again, how are you? Well, I'm alive at least. Okay. What is your soup? Soup is vegetable. And then um, we have a book for you, P.G. James' book. You read that one before, A Certain Justice? It's relatively new, so you might not have done. I haven't read it. Okay, see you next see week, Al. Yeah, yeah. Take care. cheers. <laughs> 10 to 1, and it's Friday morning, and we're just heading back towards the shelter now. Yeah. Yeah. You okay? How was your night? 
Yeah. Some nights, you know, you feel sad that you've left somebody behind and you haven't been able to give them a blanket or you might have met somebody who's very young and they're out on the street. I don't think there is a typical way you feel, though. I don't think about the people that I've seen um, every night, but some nights you do, depending on who you've met. Um, I think if you thought about the people you meet every night, you mightn't sleep at all. You know, I don't know if you'd be any good to Simon if you took that home with you every night. Okay. See ya.